A massive iceberg is in danger of breaking off Antarctica. The iceberg is located on the continent's northwest side, just below South America, and it's been slowly breaking away since the mid-1990s. But now scientists say it is hanging on by a thread. This comes after the ice shelf experienced a huge crack 125 miles long. Researchers say once that crack eventually gives way, one of the largest icebergs on record will be set adrift. Eric Rigneau is a senior research scientist at NASA and a professor at the University of California, Irvine. He joins us now. Professor, the Larsen Ice Shelf, I feel I've been watching this soap opera for many years now, and it's getting pretty dramatic. If this thing breaks loose, it's a turning point. A turning point from what to what? Uh, it's a turning point in the sense that uh, the front of this ice shelf uh, never went this far back in the past, and probably over the last 100 years, it's never been so far. And if it breaks away, how significant will that be? Well, that's going to be a, a very large iceberg drifting in the southern ocean. Uh, it's not going to raise sea level because it's already afloat, but it's, it's a sign of ongoing changes in the peninsula as a result of climate warming. Uh, these ice shelves are slowly breaking apart. So what would you recommend people do upon hearing this? Well, this is, uh, this is another awakening call uh, that uh, changes are happening uh, in the Antarctic, uh, very far south. Uh, these falling extensions are collapsing. Uh, they allow the glaciers upstream from them to speed up and raise sea level. Uh, Larsen Sea is not a very large contributor to sea level, but it's an example of the changes taking place in the Antarctic and which will affect areas further south in the future. But just to be clear, the, the breaking off of this ice shelf, would it be unprecedented in scale? Uh, on that particular ice shelf, yeah, that's a pretty unique uh, calving event in, in, in the history of this ice shelf, as, as, as seen by humans, you know, the past 100 years. And as this continues, this is the issue we're concerned about when it comes to the swamping of Miami, Bangladesh, other cities on the coast? Yes, uh, this, this ice shelf doesn't uh, hold a lot, a lot of uh, sea level rise potential, about one centimeter. But as the warming trend will continue progressing farther south, it will affect ice shelves that hold more and more uh, large glaciers, which can contribute to larger amounts of sea level rise. The, the next one uh, farther south is George VI and it holds about uh, uh, 28 centimeters of, uh, of, uh, of sea level, uh, about seven feet. Oh, well, um, uh, we, our studio happens to be near 11th Avenue, which is on the far west side of Manhattan. Uh, what other cities, uh, we hear about Miami, uh, are there other big cities around the world that you think are particularly vulnerable to creeping oceans and the breaking off of bergs like the one we're talking about? Uh, on the line, yes, this particular berg will not raise sea level, but it is part of the process of evolution of, of, of the ice in the Antarctic. Uh, places in California and Florida and the northeast coast will be affected. And uh, other places in the world, I think about the Pacific Islands, which uh, are at risk of being submerged, or Bangladesh and, and other places. Lots right. of places, uh, millions of people living on the coast. It may be time for a new studio for CBSN. Uh, Professor Eric uh, Rigno from the University of California, Irvine. Uh, Professor, thank you very much.